welcome to my channel or welcome back so today I have an unboxing so I did make a purchase it is going into my birthday month so I did make a few purchases I will be celebrating the big 4-0 so I purchased some items off of eBay and over the last um, couple weeks and I don't think actually no one of them was actually um, like a bid I did win that offer but this one was an offer that the seller gave so on eBay if you have um, if you have some items added to your wish list it's possible that some of the sellers will actually give you a lower offer you can accept it or decline I accepted this offer I thought it was a pretty good deal for a Gucci bag so let's open it up and see what I got so it was delivered by FedEx I did pay roughly 100 US plus I still have to pay conversion because I'm in Canada and duties and taxes and FedEx actually takes out um, an amount for themselves for their services so it is one of their Gucci it is um, like a Boston bag style with the bamboo handle so I thought to myself you know what let's try a Gucci vintage bag one thing that is a problem with a lot of these vintage bags from um, this era is that a lot of the insides are flaky. So it did say, and you, as you can see already on the packaging, probably not that great, but it already is showing some of the flaking, but that's no problem for me. I don't mind a challenge. So it is a beautiful leather handbag. I am aware that also I'm going to put it on this that um, the zipper they said wasn't very good. As you can see, the zipper is very stiff. So what I'm gonna do is probably use some wax paper to hopefully um, loosen this up. So you know what, let me do that and open it and I'll be back. Okay, so what I did was I just took some wax paper. As you can see, I think because the bag is flaking off inside, um, it is actually making it quite dirty. So that's why it's becoming very sticky. But just taking some wax paper, I'll clean it off. I'm going to actually wash the interior of this bag. So as you can see, it's starting to come off. There is like a fabric material inside. It does say Gucci. And then underneath, it is imprinted with the date code there. So it is a beautiful handbag. As I said, it definitely is going to need some rehabbing and I'm up for the challenge. I'm just going to flip this like interior open and deal with this chaos that's inside. So I'm going to try to record it, but there are tons of videos in terms of how to get out the flakiness and how to remove that stickiness. So um, I may record it. I may not. Um, it did not come with the hand, like the actual strap, but you do have rings there. You can see on both sides for you to add like um, a crossbody strap, which I have tons of gold and um, gold and black leather handbags. So I'm going to clean it up, bring it back, show you what it looks like after it's been cleaned up and washed out and what the interior looks like. And so stay tuned for that. Sec <laughs> washing the lining as you saw and uh, this is what you're left with that sticky residue is probably like a coating they had used in order to you know do like a faux leather kind of look but I washed it definitely um, I would suggest if you do not have patience to kind of wash it you want to let the water run clear until you get this fabric which I love now so it will be great I Definitely plan on adding a bag insert. Um, I have a few videos on different types and sizes. So I will look through my collection of bag inserts first. This is what it looks like. I'm still kind of letting it dry, but I did want to show you before um, 
before and after and give you an idea. Uh, thankfully, this is like a cloth material. It didn't need to be um, like, I guess, well, de-shed it or, you know, scrape that part off. So that was good. But even inside here, you still had that same type of lining. So I did scrub, um, as you saw, with the brush. I was able to restore this hardware and now it's nice and shiny and the zipper is working a lot better now. So once it's completely dry, we'll put everything back in and that is it. So this is the bag now, it has the bamboo hardware and it is a beautiful bag. So it will get some leather cleaner and it will be back to its original beauty. So that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick um, unboxing and tutorial how to clean up your Gucci bag. As I said, if you do not have patience, definitely um, buying vintage is not a good option. So if you do have the patience, I suggest buying it. You get it for a great price point. They've now reissued these um, Gucci bamboo bags. I plan on adding um, a Twilly, a Gucci Twilly, and it will be beautiful to carry for the winter time and for fall. So that is everything here. This is a beautiful bag. So that's it. Thank you, as I said, for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys on another video.